Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and once again I'd like to feature um, a design with build craft and industrial craft and equivalent exchange that I recently put together. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Um, I built this big huge chest area with a bunch of different things going on, and I'll walk through this all step by step for you. This is my input chest. Um, any items I put in here will be sent through my system of tubes and pipes and teleport pipes throughout this room. So this is basically my input chest. Anything I throw in here will get sent up into the system and through this diamond pipe. The diamond pipe has four outputs, as you can see, a black, a white, a red, a green, and a yellow. So five outputs total, actually. And I've pretty much got it set up so that any gold ore goes through the black pipe, iron goes through the white, copper red, and tin yellow. And I've left the green pipe empty, and I'll explain that in a moment. These pipes are then all distributed out to my um, macerators here, and these are rotary macerators, which is an add-on to the industrial craft mod. And they basically macerate things a lot quicker, but use a lot more power. They're a more advanced form of macerator. And once the items have been macerated, they'll be output through this piping system into induction furnaces. And induction furnaces cook things, basically and the induction furnaces then output those items directly into this chest where you can see tin, copper, gold, iron, all that stuff. So that's the output chest for those items in particular. Um, the next piece of this is this green section. The way this works is that anything that comes through here that is not one of these will randomly go either to the blue or green output. But since items are coming in the blue output, they'll always go to the green output. So basically this is like uh, if you're a programmer, you'll know this is an if-then-else. If you're one of these items, go down this line. Otherwise, go down the green output. So that's cool. The green output is connected to a teleport pipe on frequency 4. Very cool. Running down here, we can see frequency 4, another teleport pipe. So basically, these items will magically be teleported into this diamond pipe. But we have a couple things going on. Um, if you are a cobblestone, you're going to go down the gray path which is up. If you're a diamond ore, you're going to head into this chest right here. And if you're a piece of dirt, you're going to go into this green output down here. Okay. So dirt, heading out the green output, is connected on frequency 7, which is sent all the way across my house to this little system, frequency 7. And you might have just seen a piece of dirt fly through here and land into this recycler. So all my dirt gets recycled. Uh, the dirt is then, once it's recycled, let me get this to be daytime so you guys can see a little better. So basically, once dirt is recycled, it's output into these pipes through an iron pipe, which is sent out across frequency 3 in the teleport chain. And we'll come all the way over to this side of my house, where I've got a mass fabricator. And in industrial craft, mass fabricators turn scrap into this UU matter using a lot of electricity. This is actually set up as an uh, extra electricity piece, and oops, I just knocked this off, but we'll put them back on. So this is frequency three. So pretty much all the scrap that gets produced automatically gets dumped into my mass fabricator. So that's what happens to dirt. Um, cobblestone is sent up across frequency 8 and gets dumped into this chest here. You can see frequency 8. And this chest has a gem of eternal density in it, which is a piece of um, equivalent exchange items. And you can see dirt coming in automatically here and getting compressed down to iron from redstone and from iron it gets compressed to gold and then eventually to diamond ore. So that's what happens to cobblestone. Any other items go out through the red pipe, because red doesn't have an output, and that goes to frequency 6, which is actually right here, this other chest right next door. And this is any random miscellaneous items that it happens to dig up. Um, you can see there's a bunch of random stuff in there. This was partially from testing. Um, so basically, any items that come through this system that are not supposed to be macerated automatically get routed through this piping system here. Cobblestone gets compressed down into diamonds, and any other miscellaneous items get thrown in here. And dirt is sent back to my recyclers. 
So the one other cool piece of this system that I want to show you guys is this teleport pipe here. This is on frequency 5. And if I run outside of my house, all the way back here, you can see a quarry system. That's right. I've got my quarry outputting into a teleport pipe on frequency 5. And so automatically, anything that this quarry digs up is entered into that piping system. So that's where all these items are coming in from. That's coming from a quarry outside. And you can see it's a bunch of cobblestone at the moment, but it'll automatically macerate and refine any iron, gold, copper, or tin that it finds. But for now, it's all getting compressed down as from cobblestone into diamond. One more piece I forgot to mention here uh, was the chest. What this is about is any diamond ores that get stuck through this system. So why don't I demo that now? I'll take some of this diamond ore that gets put here. And I'm going to throw it into this tubing system here, just so you guys can see what happens. The diamond ore comes out and is shot through the system and deposited it in this chest. And it should land there any moment now. Oh, it already landed quickly enough that you can't see it, and it's converted using equivalent exchange into gold. The gold ore is then sent right back into the system through here. You can see the gold shooting through, and it goes into the macerator and is pumped out. Why am I doing that? Because then I can quickly convert my gold back into diamonds, and I then am able to basically double my diamond supply. So what I take two diamonds, so now all this gold ore is getting sent through my system, and into my induction furnace. Pretty cool. So what I've done is gone ahead and gotten some of these items, um, specifically the iron, copper, tin, and gold, out of my personal chest of goodies, just to guys, show you guys how this all filters through the system here. So you can see they're getting shot up through the input chest, and evenly distributed to the proper locations. There goes the tin, and finally the gold, and here comes the iron, copper, and gold and tin dusts. these guys all get dropped into the induction furnaces where they're properly cooked and turned into iron, copper, tin, and gold bars. I'll make some dirt real quick just to show you how that looks. Once dirt's placed into the chest, it should wind up in my recyclers over here. And there it comes. If these recyclers happen to produce some scrap for me, no such luck. But they would be sent, of course, to my uh, mass fabricator, as demoed earlier. And you've all seen cobble going through the system. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and take it easy.